accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. All right, let's head over for another look at the forecast on this Monday. And Thomas, we've been dealing with that unhealthy air quality as well. Hopefully that's about to change. Yeah, so we're already starting to see it ease in the opposite direction as we have more of a southerly wind that's beginning to push that smoke away. And with the smoke moving away, we're going to have moisture replace it. So we're going to be looking at a good chance for showers and thunderstorms across the state by our Tuesday. And we're also going to see cooler temperatures move in as well. So today we saw our temperatures above average by tomorrow. That'll be a little bit change of pace with temperatures possibly below seasonal averages in a lot of spots. But with that moisture increasing, we now have a couple of flood watches. One of those for northeast Nevada that begins late tonight, which continues over the next couple of days, but down in lower Washington County, including Zion National Park. This begins late tonight and continues through late tomorrow night. So flash flooding is going to be a possibility, but not only are we looking at the possibility just within those flood watches, but with how much moisture we're going to have in place, it's going to be a possibility really across most of the Beehive State. As we start with the storm tracker radar, the bulk of the shower and thunderstorm activity in the central half of the state near the I-15, I-70 corridor. Got a few showers in the West Desert, also in northeast Nevada, while we're also tracking a few isolated showers in southeastern Utah, close to the San Juan and Grand County line, and then also kind of around Blanding as well. But we'll go ahead and zoom into one of the strong thunderstorms that we currently have and that's right along the I-15 corridor just to the north of the I-70 interchange. So if you are going to be traveling in this direction just keep in mind you might run into some heavy rain especially just to the south of 8 Mile Point. So that thunderstorm currently working its way from south to north. So just be a little extra cautious on this early evening commute. Here's the view from Cedar City. Absolutely beautiful but we have high clouds and we also have low lying clouds on what is a pretty nice evening so far. Meanwhile in Salt Lake City it's hot and toasty with that hazy conditions that we have in place, but with those increasing clouds later on tonight, that haze will become less and less, and even by the overnight, a slight chance along the Wasatch Front as those temperatures eventually drop into the 60s for those overnight lows, 66 degrees in Salt Lake City. And look at the daytime highs tomorrow. A daytime high of 81 in Salt Lake, 76 in Logan, 76 in Provo, and even 70 degrees down in Cedar City, 85 in St. George with thunderstorm icons up and down the Beehive State. So while not everybody gets a storm, there's going to be a decent chance that one finds you. If you have any outdoor plans tomorrow, make sure you're keeping tabs of the weather and just keep in mind down at our national parks flash flooding will be at least a possibility. So as we begin the future cast and go into tonight, some of the future casts are highlighting that we could even see a few showers in southwestern Utah, including St. Jordan Zion National Park by later on tonight. And then through tomorrow, we're going to be looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms. That best chance will be in the afternoon and evening. And it's likely going to be of this variety where some spots are getting some pretty heavy rain. Some spots are getting mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, but it also could come in waves. There could be some spots that see multiple rounds of wet weather. It really just depends on where those showers and thunderstorms go. But going into Wednesday, the best chance for wet weather at that point will then migrate into northern Utah. And this is a look at the future cast rain with one particular forecast model over the next few days. I'm thinking most spots are going to see anywhere from a quarter of an inch to around maybe three quarters, but some spots are going to see maybe one to two inches and there could be isolated pockets over the next few days that even see over two inches of rain. The setup is quite favorable for seeing rainfall. In St. George, chance for thunderstorms the next couple of days. Daytime highs low to mid 80s. Drier conditions will be prevailing once we get into Thursday and Friday and daytime highs will climb into the upper 80s and low 90s. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, on the Wasatch Front, it's scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly into Thursday. Not as much moisture on Friday, but that moisture could ramp back up going into Saturday with another system moving in as daytime highs kind of settle in the upper 70s to low 80s with overnight lows in the upper 50s and low 60s. Glenn, Emily? All right.